Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, I'm gonna to talk to you about Disney gift cards and how you can use them to pay for your food, hotel, drinks, souvenirs, and yes, you can even pay for your whole trip using Disney gift cards. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I'm a full-time working mom that likes to save money because we like to travel. So the great thing about using our Disney gift card is that it allows you to keep the money on in one place so you could stay on a budget. A lot of times people use these gift cards when they go to um, some of the festivals at Epcot like Food and Wine Festival or Flower and Garden. In order to stay on a budget, they could easily just load up $100, $200 on a, a card. They could, you know, get all their food and drinks throughout the day, buy some souvenirs, and then when you reach your $100 limit or whatever you put on your Disney gift card, that's it. So you know you're not overspending and you're going to get a shocking bill a month after you get back. We actually used this method when we sent our um, my stepdaughter, Jules. She was at... Disney actually last week for band and we didn't really know if we felt comfortable with her having a, access to like our debit or credit card at this time. She's only 16 years old. You know, this is her first time away from home. So we thought this was a good practice run. So what I did was we loaded up a hundred dollars onto the Disney gift card. And then, you know, I kind of monitored her spending throughout the five days that she was there and I saw when she was running low. So I was able to add more funds, you know, as she, you know, that way she just didn't know that it was just an endless amount of money that she could spend. She was able to keep track. I was able to keep track and we were able to add funds as we go instead of just blindly giving her our credit card. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head down to your local Target if you have what's called a Target red card. Now, Target offers two ways to save money with their red card. Not exactly, but so Target has a, a traditional credit card and they also have what's called the red debit card, which is linked directly to your checking. That is the one I have. I do not have a, a Target credit card. I have the Target debit card. This allows you to, uh, to earn 5% um, Dis like a discount anytime you're shopping. So let's say you spend um, whatever, you're buying milk, bread, um, socks, or whatever, then you bring up all those purchases and you will get 5% off. So the great savings hack with this is it also, at the time of I'm making this video, it still works on Disney gift cards, which is great. So you are getting 5% off whatever Disney gift card that you buy. This also works online. You don't have to go into the store. You could easily do this onli um, online as well and they'll email you directly um, the link. So generally what I do is I do start off with a few hard, hard copy gift cards and then you're gonna go to a website called DisneyGiftCard.com. You're gonna register and I think you might be able to have at least 10 um, d uh, Disney gift cards registered on that website and you what you probably want to do is so you don't get confused is you could probably take like a permanent marker and write I, I haven't had to do that yet but you can easily write like hotel um, food or, or um, like last week when we sent jewels away I had one for jewels and you know you could label them because they do allow you to to create nicknames on the account so from there, once you have a physical card, you can easily add extra money um, using, um, you could like, you could obviously purchase online gift cards from Target or another, it doesn't have to be from Target, it could be from um, some wholesalers actually like BJ's or Sam's Club. They're also known to 
carry a big discount for Disney gift cards. So you could get discounts. You could get g gift cards from pretty much anywhere and then you can link them on. You can link them to the Disney gift card website and then you can actually move the funds um, directly into one one card and you could either delete them as you go or you could keep them open okay i just wanted to pop on and show you this uh, disney gift card website real quick so basically i you could see i have all my cards here i had to blur them what i'm doing now is i'm transferring a new gift card which had 25 dollars on it into my bigger one which has most of our trip funds now when they do this they give you an option if you want to keep the card or just delete it when you're done i do delete it if it's an online card if it's a physical card i'll keep it on uh, but yeah basically you can do that now i'm showing you the transaction history of um my stepdaughter jules card that we were able to log in and see all of her purchases and you could also see how much um, how many funds i added on there and yeah you could basically see she went to yak and yeti she ate at the epcot france pavilion and then she made some merchandise purchases so that's basically um but that's a great way because basically you're setting aside money for your trip and you know a lot of times what i do which i think i mentioned in other videos is let's say once a month i'm at target and i'm going to throw in like a 25 dollar gift card here and there because you're going to get the five percent off and it's extra money that you're saving little by little and you're gonna link it back to the disney gift card website when you're done and that's a great way to keep track of you know if you have a trip like six months to two years down the road and you know that it's gonna be like four or five thousand dollars to bring your family for a week at disney then i would start saving now and start start um using that method so each disney gift card allows you a thousand dollars and then is i think it's a thousand dollars that they allow you so that's why there's room like that's why you really want to carry a few of them and that way once it hits the a thousand mark you want to start loading up the second one one tip i will tell you is do not put all of your money right away on a disney gift card until it gets closer to your trip and closer to when you need to pay off your trip um i mean you could do whatever you want but in Luckily, this has never happened to me, but I do hear of stories of people, you know, last minute that they can't go on their Disney gift or they, they can't go on their trip. And now they have like three or four thousand dollars on a gift card that can't be redeemed anywhere except for Disney. So usually what I'll do is, like I said, I will use just extra money here and there that I'm not going to notice. I will put the twenty five dollars um, little by little on my card. Then at the same time, let's say I have extra money from doing like what I call little side hustles. I'm gonna move that into a separate savings account and I'm gonna keep that there earning interest. And it's not gonna be in my regular savings. It's not gonna be in my checking. I actually have that in a completely separate bank account. So then what I'll do is as it gets closer to the trip, let's say I have, cause basically in order to book your trip, you need a $200 deposit. I will wait until about a month before my trip and then i will pay it off that way you know like okay it's pretty sure that unless something could um drastic happens pretty much we're going to be at disney in a month so then what i could do is i move all of those funds from my other i moved all the funds from my other savings account and then i go right to disney's website and i'm gonna order like $500 here and there in order to get to the, let's say your trip is 2000, then you're gonna move all those funds and you're going to go um, move them to your checking. You're gonna use your Target red card. You're gonna get the 5% discount and now you're saving a couple hundred dollars using the 5% off. Another great thing that we did on our last trip was I did have a lot of funds that were preloaded. My trip was already paid for, but in addition to that, I did have, I think about 500, if I'm not mistaken, that was already loaded, um, ready to go on a gift card, which I used using my Target Fred card to get the 5% off. Now, we were there a total of, I think eight days. Technically, we got there like after midnight. 
so we weren't really like spending a lot of money. I don't think we spent any money actually the first day beside the hotel, but we were there pretty much seven full days after that. So we did go a little crazy because we hadn't been to Disney since, well, I went a little crazy. <laughs> so since, you know, we hadn't been to Disney since pre-COVID. So we ate a lot. We drank a lot. Those margaritas are not cheap at Epcot, by the way. Um, so we basically, we did go over our budget that was put on the, di the gift card. But the great thing is I was able, when I was at the hotel, they, you could easily go either on, you could log in online on your My Disney Experience account, or you could go right to the front desk and tell them, hey, what's my total as I'm, you know, running up my magic band every day. So I was able to go like once a day, check what our balance is and how I, I was, well, how I was doing with my spending and my budget. So then of course we did go over our budget, but the great thing is that I was able to know like, okay, I don't remember ex actually how much extra that we owed. Let's say it was $300. I was able to go right to um, target.com, have them email me the gift card right when I was at Disney. I still got the 5% off. And then I was able to put it, load it right onto my um, Disney gift card website, load it and link it right onto my gift card right onto my gift card and then um, I was able to pay off our our trip purchases and souvenirs and all of that that we had been collecting through the week using our magic bands. So it, it's great. The savings doesn't stop necessarily even if you're at Disney. You could still log into target.com, buy your Disney gift card and you're still able to get the 5% off and that's that's just so amazing to me. Another positive about loading these gift cards is if let's say your gift card happened to get lost, you can log in right to the Disney gift card website and or even if you can't necessarily find it, you could easily move the finances from one card to another. And that's another reason why when Jules went, we felt comfortable, more comfortable sending her with the gift card. And I told her, hey, if something happens, please don't think we're gonna get mad at you. If you happen to lose your card, please call me right away because I don't want you to lose the funds on there. I could easily move them onto another card. So what I did was I had her carry one in her little fanny pack and then I had her carry the other one in her luggage. So that way, just in case, she had a blank one ready to go that I could easily move the funds to. A lot of times also with Target, they have a lot of circle deals where this, when you purchase the Disney gift cards, those also help count toward your circle deals. So if you watch one of my, I think I had up uh, an Insta, uh, Instagram reel and I think I put it on YouTube also uh, last week or the week before, they were running a promotion where you had to spend, I think it was like 140 and you got, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like 140 and you got a $40 cash back target circle earnings that could be used like throughout the year. So I was actually able to do that because I know like I had that money set aside in my specific Disney savings account. So I didn't have to worry about, okay, I, like they are running this deal. Like I have to take money out of checking this week. No, I didn't have to worry about that because I moved the, the money that we had already set aside for Disney in the separate savings account. I moved it to our checking. I used my Target debit card. I bought a $150 gift card and there you go. Now I earn free money. I got the $40 extra at Target that I could use throughout the year. I actually already spent it because I started to build my daughter's Easter basket. Uh, but again, I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket. All of like all of the stuff that's going in her basket, it was all paid just for something I was planning to do anyway and planning to pay for my trip with. So that's that's just why I love that savings hack at Target. Target could be expensive in certain areas, but they do make it affordable for us to go on uh, Disney trips using this Target um, red card savings hack for Disney. And I kind of wish that I gotta find out a way that we could do this for going other places because my husband is probably getting sick of going to Disney by now and he was telling me last night he wishes we could go to an all-inclusive again. So I need to figure that out, how we could use a Target, <laughs> Target say, red 
card savings hack for that. I think that's pretty much going to do it in today's video. If you liked this content, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you real soon.